Welcome. So this is our sketch organized solve method for Ampere's law, a way similar to Gauss's law, but for finding magnetic fields from currents. So we always start our sketch step by drawing something. We want to draw our current distribution. from two perspectives. We kind of have to make sure that we're living in the third dimension, and so, right, that's what we're doing. So if the case is that we're looking at a thick wire, we might want to draw our wire from this perspective and our wire from this perspective and show some amount of current flowing through it. So, once we have this, right, our Amperian loops, they can be rectangles or circles. We don't really need any other shapes for this level of class. And so we want to choose a shape. where only one segment uh, is non-zero for the integral e dot ds, which we'll see a little bit later in the organized step. And then for each region to solve, We want to draw our loop going over the point of interest. So, in this case, right, it's going to be useful to draw a circle, which looks like a circle here. But this is only for outside of the wire, so we also need to draw a circle for inside the wire. And it's oftentimes nice to recognize what you're doing with our large circle and small circle in both perspectives. And so what we want is we want our loop area must be perpendicular to the magnetic field. So we can see that through here, that my loop area is perpendicular to the field. My loop area is in here. The uh, magnetic field is like this. So everything is good. Everyone is happy so far. In my organized step, I have my integral, which is the closed integral e dot ds is equal to mu naught times the current through. And what we're going to do is we're going to write work on both parts of this equation and bring them together in the solve step. So for our b, d, b dot ds, on this side this is equal to over segment 1, d1 dot ds1 plus over segment 2, e2 dot ds2, and so on and so forth. What we want to do is we want to justify that only one segment is non-zero. So in this case, we only have one segment for a circle, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we have to justify that our magnetic field B is parallel to DS and justify that our magnetic field B is constant along the segment. 
So what we learned from magnetic symmetry is we know that we have cylindrical symmetry here, which means that our magnetic field is a function of r, and the direction of our magnetic field is in the theta direction. So we could write this as that our magnetic field looks like this, and that our circle is a circle, so our circle is of constant radius. Our circle is of constant radius, and our ds and d are in the same direction. So if we can do all this, then our closed integral of d dot ds is equal to the b for segment a times delta s for segment a and we no longer have to do the integral because it was constant we could pull it out and then the integral of ds is just the uh, length of that segment. So for the mu naught i through section i through can be written as the integral of the current density j dotted with dA. So we want to define j for all regions of space. So in this case, our j would be equal to some j constant in our, we had direction for r less than the radius of the cylinder, and then our j is equal to zero for r greater than the radius of the cylinder. So it could be just as simple as that if we have a constant density wire, that's all we have to do. And so then as we do this, then our closed integral, or our not closed integral, our normal integral of j dot dA is equal to the integral of j1, j1 for region one, two, J2, J2 for region two, and so on and so forth. And just as a reminder, our dA is equal to L dW for rectangular, and our dA is equal to two pi L dr for circles. So in our solve, We want to calculate the current through using an integral. If it's a solenoid, right, then our I through is equal to the number of loops times the current. And then we can talk about then equal to the current density times the L of our loop, of our Amperian loops times the current. So we've calculated the current through the, uh, using the integral, and then we then set dA delta SA equal to our mu naught I through for each region, and then we solve for the magnetic field for that segment. In this case, we would need to solve right the current once, then twice, and so we need to find the magnetic field once, then twice. So this is how we use sketch, organize, solve to find the magnetic field using Amperian. 